today the topic of discussion is huffman algorithm so in huffman algorithm first of all we'll understand what is huffman algorithm that is introduction of huffman algorithm then we'll study two tree and extended binary tree then we'll study path length and then we will discuss weighted path length so you might be thinking that why we are discussing all these things why not huffman algorithm so these are prerequisites of huffman algorithm you might you must know you must have understanding of all this topic only then you will be able to proceed toward huff to proceed towards Huffman algorithm so let's start with Huffman's algorithm prerequisites so first of all what is Huffman algorithm a little uh, you know data a little uh, text about Huffman algorithm is all about so Huffman algorithm is basically used for data compression D data compression algorithm so what is data compression algorithm suppose you have a letter suppose you have a letter or a page of text having 10,000 words so if there are 10,000 words and you want to compress them so you will always find those words which are very frequent suppose a is very frequent e is very frequent i is very frequent o is very frequent so what you will do you will try to assign codes to these letters very less code fine and those letters which are not so frequent those who are rarely coming like z like x uh, like uh, you can say Z X or you can say some 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 G you can say then these uh, can be given a long uh, uh, coding fine so this is what Huffman algorithm is all about so Huffman algorithm is basically for data compression algorithm the idea is to assign variable length the idea is to assign variable length different length code to input character this is what I told you to assign code to input character the length of assigned code are based on frequencies and these length are based on frequencies this is what I told you that if a and these are coming very high then you will give the code smaller and if something is coming uh, very rarely then you will can give the code a uh, uh, little bit bigger of corresponding characters the most frequent character gets the smallest code so the most frequent character get the smallest code so the frequent character will get the smallest code and the least frequent character will get the largest code and the least frequent will get the largest code fine hope, hope you understand so what I was trying to tell you now how to proceed toward algorithm so there are two major parts of Huffman algorithm first you have to build Huffman tree first of all you have to build Huffman tree and then the after you build the Huffman tree you have you will have to traverse the Huffman tree and assign the code so first top task is to build the tree and then assign the code by traversing the tree now main part is how to build a tree what are prerequisites of tree what kind of Huffman tree is so let's understand extended binary tree or two tree so Huffman tree is also extended binary tree or two tree so what is extended binary tree say this so hope you remember strictly binary tree so what is a strictly binary tree a strictly binary tree is a tree in which every node has either two child or no child that is if I say this is this a strictly binary tree yes here every node has either two child or no child but if I say is this a strictly binary tree no this is not a strictly binary tree because this node has only one child fine so if I made this is this a strictly binary tree yes now this is a strictly binary tree similarly same definition two tree has or extended binary tree recall that extended binary tree or two tree is a binary tree in which each node has either zero or two children where each node has zero or two children the node with zero children are called in external node the node which that is leaf node are called external node the node which do not have any children will be called as external node and the node with two children and the node with two children are called are called internal node so so the node which have two children will be called internal node the node which do not have any children will called external node fine figure 7.62 shows two tree so this is the figure which is showing a two tree where these circles are internal nodes because these are nodes having two child and these squares are external nodes because they don't have any child fine so this is what i have written so now there is a, if you count number of internal node if i count number of internal node which is one two three four five and six so number of internal node is six now if you count external load one two three four five six seven so number of external load is seven so it's a proof that number of external load is equal to number of internal node plus one it's a proof it's a written proof you can make any extended binary tree you will always get this so number of external load is equal to number of internal node plus one suppose I'm making a, a tree 
suppose this is this a extended binary tree no extended binary tree is a two tree in which every node has either two child or no child so i have to make extend it uh, this is because it is called extended i have to extend it so what i did i made one external node here i made one external node here i made one external i'm extending it extending means i'm making a node fine i make one extended node here fine okay so count the number of internal node one two three count the external node one two three four fine so just because of this it is called number of internal node plus one is equal to number of external node so always remember this uh, what is extended binary tree extended means we are extending it to two tree or we are extending it to make strictly binary tree fine okay now moving further internal path length and external path length you have a you have a tree which is what two tree so this is a two tree you know it very well this is a two tree or extended binary tree now you have to calculate internal path length or external path length first of all internal path length li fine li uh, what how to calculate the length this is level zero so zero one if i'm calculating the length of internal nodes fine internal path length means i'm calculating the length of internal nodes zero one so this is one of this node this node you know this node is zero let's start with this node this length is zero this length zero one one let's start with uh, this zero one one let's start with this zero one two then this zero one two three then this uh, this one zero one two fine okay now count three to five to seven eight and nine and nine and zero is nine so number of so internal length internal length length of node internal nodes is nine fine total length is nine now external path length le le is equal to external path length this means we are calculating the length of these nodes so if i consider this node then zero one two two then this will also be two then now this zero one two three three now this node zero one two three four four so this will be also four four now this dot zero one zero one two three so this will also three so this will three when you add three three six four ten fourteen seventeen nineteen twenty one so this will be twenty one so external path length is equal to twenty one fine is there any relation between internal length and external length yes length of external is equal to length of internal plus 2 into number of internal nodes number of internal nodes fine that is length of external is equal to length of internal is just now we have calculated 9 plus 2 into number of internal node how many internal node you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 you have 5 let me calculate let me check it one again. Zero. Oh, how can you cal uh, consider it as 0 it's not 0 it's 1 so number of internal node 1 2 3 4 5 6 node so 6 so external path length will be 9 into 2 into 6 12 is equal to 21 see so what you are getting 21 what is 21 external path length so the formula is what length of external load is equal to length of internal load plus 2 into n what is n number of internal node number of internal node so now you get one more formula that is length of external load is equal to length of internal node plus 2 into n fine okay now moving further then comes weighted path length what is weighted path length let's see you have a, a complete you have a three tree now having three internal node all the three trees have three internal node three internal node and three four external nodes and all four external node have same weight two three five eleven though their structure are different eleven three five 2, 5, 2, 3, 11. Though their structure are same, but there are 3 internal nodes in all the 3 tree, 4 external nodes in all the 3 trees, and same weights, but they are in different position 2, 3, 5, and 11. Fine. Now you have to calculate weighted path length. So if I'm calculating weighted path length of this node, so 0, 1, 2, 2 into 2. So this is because we are written 2, we have written 2 into 2. Fine. This also 2 into 3. Fine, so 3 into 2 or 2 into 3. If uh, What about this? 0, 1, 2. So 2 into 5. 2, 11 into 2. Fine. So finally you get 42. Similarly for this. 0, 1, 
for suppose this 0 1 so 2 into 1 for this 11 uh, for 3 suppose 0 1 2 3 so 3 into 3 5 into 3 11 into 2 you get 48 similarly for this tree you get 36 so what the kind of confusion you are facing here is that all the three t have all the three trees have three internal nodes all of them has four external node all those weights are same but then you took three trees to find out which tree producing the minimum weight this is looking simple but what if you have more than three internal nodes or suppose you have five internal nodes and then six external nodes. So how if I make you to if I ask you to make a tree having minimum weighted path length, will that be possible for you? What you will do? You will keep on creating the trees and keep on checking the weights. No, that is practically not possible. Because of that, Huffman's tree came to Huffman's algorithm came into the market, which will give you a tree having minimum weighted path length. And also because of that tree, you will get a Huffman coding and the technique of compressing the code. 